guest is a writer on the Chris Rock Show and has his own HBO comedy special. Please welcome very funny Louis C.K. Thank you. How you doing? Good. Nice to be here. I, uh, I was watching TV today. I was watching one of those animal shows. Do you like those animal documentary shows? I love those animal shows, but you ever have the feeling that the narrator is getting bored and he's just making it up? Because he gets so intense. He's like, you know, the lion tells the lioness that they must move to the next watering hole because the dry season is approaching and the young must be protected. I'm like, you know, I, th I think he's just smelling her ass. I don't know... <laughs> getting all that he's, he's sniffing her ass it's easy it's simple i've been traveling a lot i uh i was in maine i don't know if you've been in maine but people in maine they have a weird accent there i could almost not understand anything that anybody was saying because the accent was so weird like i went up to this guy i said hey how you doing and he said Arr! i was like wow that's like another language almost I like to travel, but sometimes I get lonely, you know? You know, it's sometimes when you're on the road, you just get lonely, and there's little things that people will say to you that will remind you that you're lonely. Like, uh, I was checking in at the airport, and the woman's like, did you pack your bags yourself? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just me in the room. <laughs> She's like, did anybody give you anything to bring on the plane? Sometimes I drive and you know, you know when you drive for hours and you start going a little crazy because you're in the car by yourself and, and there's nothing on the radio. I was just driving once and I started just going completely nuts and I started doing this thing. I started going like this and I started singing. I was going, I'm doing this right now. I'm doing this right now. I'm doing this. And to me, it wasn't funny. I was like serious. I'm like, yes, I'm doing this. I'm doing it. You know, like really loud and... And, uh, and then I stopped doing it because I had to dry with both hands, but I kept singing it. I was like, yes, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. And then I felt this guilt. I thought, I'm not doing it. I'm so full of crap, you know? I'm such a, what am I singing for? <laughs> One time I was, uh, I saw this guy the other day. This is really weird. You ever see somebody that you don't know again? I'm talking about somebody that's a total stranger but they keep popping up like you see a guy you go where do I know that guy from then you realize he was in line in front of me at the bank three months ago what is he doing here it's weird it's like God is running out of extras in the movie of your life or something <laughs> starting to reuse people all right you go be a guy on the bus but I was just a jogger just go put a hat on I don't care Strangers, you know what I like to do? I like to go up to total strangers when I'm bored and just start conversations with them. You should try this. If you have nothing to do, just go up to somebody you don't know and just start a conversation. But the fun way to do it, don't start the conversation in the beginning. Just start it in the middle. <laughs> try it. Just walk up to some guy in a store and just go, yeah, well, how do you think I felt? <laughs> it's fun to screw around with strangers because there's only a small level of contact that's really acceptable amongst two people who don't know each other, really, like on the street. All really anybody wants to do is like... That's all anybody wants. That's like the level you're supposed to stay at. Just. So what I like to do is just go a little too far, just a tiny bit, just do a, a little too much, because then they don't even know if it was you or them, you know? Like, say you're in an airport, you're waiting for a plane for, like, hours, and you're just bored, and you, see, you catch eyes with a stranger, just do a little too much, just go like... Like that, just... <laughs> tiny bit. Then for like three hours, you get to just watch their face going, what the hell was that? Jesus. I can't look over there. That guy's a weirdo. I love looking at other people, you know? Like I saw this guy uh, on the street today, and he's one of those guys making like a, he's like a, trying to act really tough. And when guys are trying to be tough, they're just stupid. They're just idiots, you know? Like this guy's standing on a corner by himself, and he's just going like this. He's like, I'm like, what's going on in there? 
like, what does he think? He's like, standing here, yeah. Mm. 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 I always wanted to follow a guy like that from the beginning of the day, like to see how he gets there, you know? Because he couldn't just be like that. Like, he couldn't like wake up in the morning. Showering, yeah. Washing my ass. Yeah. You know, I love watching when two guys are trying to get in a fight outside a bar, and they're, they're at that stage where they're trying to make tough guy threats at each other, but they're too drunk to really work them out really good. So they can't come up with cool ones, you know? They're like, yeah, I'll still, I'll stick your ass in your ass. <laughs> well, I'll blow up your face so much you'll, you go, you crap. <laughs> Also, when guys are stupid is when, when beautiful women walk by. Like when a bunch of guys are together and a beautiful woman's like across the street, it never makes them happy, it makes them angry. You ever see that like a girl in a miniskirt walks by and the guys are always like, oh, what is that? Jesus, look at that. It's not fair. <laughs> California is weird though. I, 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 I read this weird thing in the paper the other day. They said that 80% of the people in Los Angeles are minorities. <laughs> Don't you think you should stop calling them that when it hit 80%? That's a very white attitude, you know? You could, you could take a white guy to China and you'd be like, look at all these minorities they got over here. <laughs> you know what I like to do when I'm bored, really? I like to go shopping. I like to go to Kmart. Kmart's my favorite place in the world because they have so much stuff there. And the variety is amazing. And you can buy combinations of stuff at Kmart that you can't buy together anywhere else. I like to go in there and ask for combinations of stuff that kind of weird them out a little. I like to go in there like, hi, I need a jar of mayonnaise and a stopwatch and a Bible. <laughs> Just to make them wonder what you're doing with this stuff later. It's like, I need a case of motor oil and a Huffy 10 speed and a blonde wig. <laughs> Some road flares and a pair of pink panties. <laughs> I went shopping at this store near my house and I got in this terrible situation. I'm, I'm trying to buy just a roll of film, right? And I'm, I'm, I was in kind of a hurry and I wanted to leave. And the guy, I, I, buy, I paid for the film and he wouldn't give me the bag, you know, and I'm, I'm trying to leave. And he goes, hey, wait a minute, you know, if you, if, you, if you pay for the developing now, I'll give you a discount. And I was like, no, it's okay, I don't need it. And he goes, why not? I was like, well, because I'm not going to have it developed here. And he goes, why not? <laughs> so I'm trying to convince him, like, well, because I'm going to France tomorrow. Now I'm lying to a total stranger. <laughs> but I'm going to France. And he wouldn't let it go. He's like, well, why don't you bring your film here when you get back from France? I was like, well, no, I can't because I'm moving there for like two years. <laughs> See, now I can't even walk past the store <laughs> for two years because this idiot thinks I'm in France. You guys have been great. Thanks a lot for coming here. Good night. Louis C.K. We'll be right back with more Comedy Showcase. See you later. So long, guys. Don't forget to call. Oh, no. I forgot to tell them to use 1-800-COLLECT. Oh, ticket, sir? I just need to tell my cousin that 1-800 collects 10 cents a minute every evening. You need a ticket. It's very important. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you, when you call me, use 1-800 collect. It'll save me a bundle. Yeah, I know. What else would I use? 1-800 collect. 10 cents a minute every evening. Pepto-Bismol. It's first aid for heartburn, diarrhea, nausea, indigestion, and upset stomachs.
on the next Roseanne Show, funny man Jamie Foxx. You like fat chicks, don't you? <laughs> Things get hot when Jamie serenades Roseanne. It's getting a little warm in here. Uh, are you single? No. <laughs> then see if you can pass Roseanne's sex ed quiz. A male reaches his sexual peak at A16, B18, C when he gets to your house. The Roseanne Show, Monday afternoon at 5 on Fox 40. Hank's secret is out. You were born with a narrow urethra. And it can only mean one thing. Was I adopted? An all-new King of the Hill, 8, 7 Central, Fox Tuesday.